Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tarun and welcome back to another cool tutorial in this HTML series. So in this video, we'll be continuing off with where we left in the previous tutorial. So in the previous tutorial, we were here in creating these tables and let me just start the live server for you and packages atom live server start live server if you don't have this package then you have to go to file settings and go to install go to install and install the package we already installed it in the previous tutorials so we are good to go and now the live server has been started we are currently working with html5 file i guess um yes we did the image part and a um, little bit of starting of the table in the previous video so now what we're gonna do let's start off by giving an id to this table let's call it t01 okay this is in a table one or something you could call it anything you could call it apple also or windows so um where did I? Okay, here you could start styling anything. Okay, you could start styling. I mean, you have to start styling table, but you can start styling any of the attribute in the table. Let's now first of all increase the size of the table. So let's just try um, font size and let's set it to around say. 20 pixels save cool it's changing all of the elements and all of the elements font size are being changed so let's now uh, make it 26 say yes it's perfectly visible now and now what I want to do is I want to add border to the table I could just uh, add border here that would give the border to the table only the table if you do not understand what I mean by it, let's just try it. So border, 2 pixels, solid, white. Okay, here 2 pixels denotes the thickness, solid denotes uh, what type of style do you want the border to be. For example, we saw a dashed style. This is the dashed version. Okay, so this one here goes to color. About HTML colors, we'll be talking soon. I'll tell you more about it. But for now, you just remember the name, you could write the, the names of the colors itself. Okay, so let's just save it. So, see I told you, you get the border only to the table, not to each one of the elements in the table. So, to do that, what do you need? You need to add border to the table row. Okay. Let's just copy this. Make use of your laziness. Save it then you need to add it to okay you didn't get apply i guess see okay so let's just try for td okay sorry you have to do the td now save it cool and this one is a table header i don't think this is necessary so tr won't do anything at least you learned that and for th save that's for the table header. So this is how we add the borders to the different elements of the table and to the table itself. Now, if we do not want this, this gap between the two lines or the two borders, then you have to use border collapse property in the table itself. Okay, not anywhere else. You have to use it in the table. So go down and type border collapse and give collapse see now the border uh, collapses and everywhere it shows up single line the next uh, thing I would like to show is uh, for now let's just uh, comment this border collapse okay now um, I would like to show you let's see padding 
So when we use a padding to the table, to the TD, that is table data, like here you can see the table data, and you have the table header. These are the table data. We use a padding of around say 10 pixels, maybe. Save it so you will get that padding there. And just copy that and paste here to the table header also. And when you save it, you will get the padding for that also. Cool. Now, what I would like to show you is why I commented this is I would like to show you, let's see, what is that? Order. Um, what is that? Yep, border spacing. And let's set that to around say 5 pixels. Yes, with border spacing what it does is it uh, gives the space between the borders and uh, you could use it to style it up. You also have um, you also have some styling, extra styling. So you have a lot of styling okay, to experiment with. So if you want to like just uh, see what happens with each one, like I did, you can just start typing it and you could just go down here in the suggestion and you'll get to know a lot of things like whatever it has here, border image, bottom, bottom color, example like that. So for example, bottom, bottom color, what do you want it to be, let's say, aqua, see, and sometimes, uh, yeah, it happens actually, see. You have the bottom bottom color, border bottom color because we have defined it for the table. So we have the border bottom color as uh, aqua. So that's how we do. Let's just rem let's just comment this out. See, here's the border spacing. We just comment it out. I want the border to collapse. So that is done. And now the thing I would like to show is what else is left out. Okay. Now let's move on to our HTML code. And I would like to show call span and give it to say. Okay, so this would basically take two columns. For example, say if this was say number that is phone number, phone numbers, okay, and you would like mention the phone numbers here like for example this one and this one say that would look neat and if you would want like want to give here um say name and you would like to mention the name here So on for others, okay. You could just remove this. So on for others. Okay. So this is for a call span. If you want a row span, you also have that. Row span, save. So that would uh, like basically span the row and give it the uh, things. So that is the basic idea of tables. Now uh, let's just move on to HTML colors. I would like to show you. So let's create a new HTML file. Or you know what? Let's type the same table. Okay, let's remove this call span and all. Save. So we have this beautiful table. Um, the table ID T01. Let's go to T01 and we'll align it to the, to the center. Mark in auto. Okay, it's aligned to the center. Beautiful. And now. One more thing I would like to show you that is the int child tag. That is when you take the tag t of zero one, okay, and give um say t zero one and give table row, okay, that is table row int child even that is apply this rules to the int child that is uh, only for the even child even children. And then save it, and you give the mention the style inside. For example, background color. Uh, say, um, let me. What should we give? CCC maybe. Save it, and you get that. 
Um, wait, yeah, don't make it tell me. Coupon. Or maybe nine nine. Or six six six. Cool. So it only applies the rules to the nth child. Okay, that is the even children. So this is the first row. So this is the second. So this is the even, even, even. It only applies the rules to them. So this is how we use this end child even. Again, again, guys, you need not remember all of these. Like remembering everything is a headache. You just need to know what you could do, and you you, you need to recognize the code which any developer or programmer has written. That's all. You you eventually, as you keep on practicing and as you keep on doing, you get hold of it. Don't worry. So in this video, we've covered everything. I think pretty much about uh, tables. We'll be continuing with HTML in the next tutorial. Next few tutorials are going to be exciting as we're going to deal with colors and uh, lists. Okay, so see you in the next uh, tutorial. Goodbye.